there's a lot of uh i want to say inflated demand for robots that fit the sci-fi narrative of the 60s huh rather because you know like is that coming there's, from there's the museum or is that more like we're no that's that's a general international thing like you know you huh. think about like delivery robots right like yeah, why yeah. do we need delivery yeah. robots people can do that yeah people have been doing a, a fine job of it yeah uh, like why do we need robots to deliver stuff when there's a guy who will gladly take the job and he costs way less than a bunch of phds trying to figure out how to like make this damn thing turn well it's a matter of unit economics right like the phds are expensive like the first time but you do it yeah. like a billion times and you know maybe it's cheaper right. with the robots yeah i mean I'm, I'm kind of like taking a jab out of the industry that we're like working in and like threatening our like <laughs> positions but i think there's a lot of cool things that robots nah, can do that humans can't do yeah. right or or that they can do better than humans yeah and i feel like that's because it doesn't exist like pe we we don't really want like try for that that makes sense i feel like people are comfortable oh interesting robots. do you have any idea like, people like... Are comfortable watching uh like robots do human tasks knowing that their job is not at stake versus watching a robot do something that they can't do that like they'll do better than us in so give me an example of like a like a robot only task that like a person just wouldn't be capable of um microsurgery or like not a microsurgery but like like really precision surgery so what about like right? vicarious surgical right aren't they working on something like that yeah 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 and there's there's a lot of like but fear around that right yeah like well people are like, hey, what if a really? robot i mean it's still human I mean, teleoperated though like you've still got like a surgeon running the sure. robot Sure. Uh, driverless, car, or like driverless cars. Yeah, but people can drive. Like that's not that's a person job that you're just giving to a robot. But, but they can't drive for forty eight hours straight. That's a good point. Yeah, that's true. And you know, like, truck drivers are kind of like concerned about that or offended by it, right? Because it's, it's their jobs that are at stake. Yeah, and that's like their whole it's thing right. is being able to like ingest caffeine and like you know get across you know the. Around here, it would be like, you know, like if you can drive from like, you know, the East Coast, of the United States, the West Coast, of the United States, and, you know, like however many. I think there's like limits, though. I think you have to, you know, like sleep every X number of hours or every X number of like miles or right. whatever. But well, robots don't have to, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That would be stupid. Yeah. Versus like, versus like barista robots where like no one's going to argue against a barista robot. You don't think there's like a barista's lobby that's pissed off about barista robots? Yeah, but they know that like a robot can do a like can do a better job. I mean, you know, who, you're gonna talk to a robot about your problems when you get your coffee in the morning. Like, <laughs> you know, like, 